I'm just coming out there with the right mindset. You know, uh, we go over all the personnel. The coaches give us all that we need to know. So we just got to go out there and execute. Yes, how much did you guys talk about um, you know, how you started the game against Wisconsin? Did you guys talk about just kind of having more energy at the start, things like that? Yeah, we talked about having more energy, but um, it's all of a collective mindset going out there into the game, you know. Um, we can't come out flat, you know, um, because we're going to be on the road soon. And we have to come out there with a mindset and energy that, that goes past anybody else. Sam? Just when you look at this Illinois team, what kind of jumps out at you? Uh, they have a really – their starting line is really great, you know, and the guys that come off the bench, you know. They got a lot of key scores out there, you know, three-point shooters as well. So we've locked into them, you know, um, we looked at the personnel and looked at key things that we can take away from Illinois. So um, we just have to go out there with the right mindset from the start, you know, because you know it's going to be a 40-minute game and play any other basketball for 40 minutes. Go ahead. Tom, is there anything you've seen or done as a team the last couple days in practice that gives you guys some confidence you can kind of come out and put some things together in a more complete way? Oh, yeah. Um, we gone more into our personnel, you know, and uh, just working on ourselves as well throughout the throughout the days, you know, and uh, I feel like we have a lot more confidence going into this game than we did with others, you know, and uh, a lot of us are holding each other accountable more. So I feel like we, we're, we're really well prepared for this one. How about personally, is there anything you've done in the last couple of days just to kind of work on things and kind of get back where you're going to be? Oh yeah, of course, you know, just diving into film more, you know, getting up extra work, extra shots, you know, post moves, also quickness, you know, just little things that I can do to help my game out. I guess at the same, sorry, go ahead. You got it. I'll go after you. Right. At the same time, I guess, when you guys do talk about whether it's trying to be better with the mindset, better defensively, the guy trying to break up a shooting slump or anything, are you conscious, I guess, at the same time, maybe not to overwork yourselves? Oh, yeah. Yeah, we're very conscious of not overworking ourselves. But we know that each and every day we walk into this building, we have to put in some type of work, you know, whether it's film, being on the court, getting shots up, or just talking to coaches, you know, you have to put in some type of work, you know, you got to get better each and every day. Um, the game against Wisconsin, when you were on the court with Duran, it seemed like you were really excited, especially when he started making shots in the post. What have you seen from him recently, and uh, how, do you, how much do you like playing with him, and how does that help you out? I like playing with Duran. You know, he's willing to learn, and also and always comes out there with a nice, with a nice thing of energy that helps us all out there. You know, when uh, we're going up and down, he comes in, you know, clears up some space, grabs a couple boards, you know, or scores some shots. You know, that helps us a lot. You know, uh, with the inside scoring. Plus, he's a willing passer as well. How would you evaluate your own performance to this point? I mean, uh, are you happy with? When you're playing individually, or do you feel like there's some things that you could, you, you really need to do better? Oh, there's always key things that I can do better, man. You know, but I'm not worried about that. You know, I'm, I'm not looking at the outside. You know, I'm just worried about what's inside and just improving each and every day with me and the team. What do you guys need to correct defensively? Because the coach mentioned that there has slipped a little bit of late. What are the biggest mistakes to overcome? Um, I would just have to say just coming out with the right mindset. You know, the coaches prepare us uh, every day for each team that we face. It's up to us to go out there, go out there and execute what we have to do, you know. And uh, it just starts with us. You know, it doesn't start with the coaches. It starts with us. And we have to hold ourselves accountable more often out there on the court playing the game. Thomas, holding each other accountable, that, that can get intense sometimes. It can be, you know, humorous. How are you guys, as you approach it, does it come easy to – somebody maybe is not quite doing what they need to do to really get on it? Yeah, it's easy for us because we know we all want the same goal in life. You know, we all want to win. We all want to win games, you know, and we, we all consider ourselves as family. You know, family's going to get on each other if you're doing something wrong. So if we see somebody that's doing something wrong, we're going to say something and just know that it's not, out of, to, it's not to hurt you or anything. It's to help us. All right, Thomas. Thank you, sir. Mm -hmm.